Hello, people of God. I have an amazing, undeniable revelation, a great piece of information that is going to blow your mind away. And I want to start by sharing what the Lord revealed to me in early 2017, which is uh, the greatest sign ever in the Bible. Uh, as you know, every major salvation comes along with every major destruction. They come by the hand. It's in parallel. Uh, once there is uh, salvation for some, there is destruction for the rest, or vice versa. And there is a great sign in the Bible, uh, a pattern that precedes every major event in the Bible that involves uh, salvation and destruction. Uh, the first one we find um, uh, in Enoch, which was the seventh from Adam, uh, in Genesis 4, uh, from 15 to 24, um, Lamech says, uh, if Cain was avenged uh, seven times, uh, 70 times seven, um, Lamech will be avenged. And, and that is the triple seventh right there. Then, then it says that uh, Enoch walked, uh, with God 300 years. That is the number 300. Now, I know that the number 300 pertains to 300 days because the Lord pointed us to the Ark of Noah. And in the Ark of Noah also, we have the triple seven where Lamech, um, uh, this is another Lamech, uh, lived 777 years. And then uh, the Ark of Noah was uh, for 150 days, that number is mentioned twice, 150 days uh, the waters remain, uh, 150 days twice is 300, and of course you could tell that it lasted 300 because it started on the 17th of the second month and the waters dried out on the first uh, day of the first month the following year. So you have the 300 days there and the triple seven. After that you have it uh, in, in Lot, in Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, uh, in Paris of, uh, in, in 50s, you know, the 50s, uh, if there were 50 righteous, uh, you know, it's mentioned three times to 450, and then uh, it mentions uh, in this discounting uh, if there were five missing uh, from the 50s, and then the Lord said, I would not destroy uh, if there were 45, so 5 plus 45, 50, uh, what if there were 40, 90, what if there were 30, 120, what if there were 20, 140, and what if there were only 10, the 150 plus the other 150, you got the 300. And um, after that, you find it in Genesis uh, chapter 41 uh, with Joseph, with the seven cows, uh, the skinny cows and, and, and the fat cows, and uh, you have a triple seven there. Uh, they're mentioned uh, three times, uh, and um, and then the 300s are the 300 pieces of silver that he gave uh, his brother Benjamin. After that, uh, you find it in Joshua with you know the seven um, uh, trumpets, the seven uh, rounds that went around uh, Jericho, and um, and you know and then you find the 300 in the 200 pieces of silver. And, uh, and, and the 50 uh, mentioned twice, um, adding, you know, 300. After that, you find it in, in, in Judges, you know, uh, with Samson. You know, um, he gave a riddle uh, for the seventh day, and it's mentioned three times for a triple seven. And he hunted after that 300 foxes to burn the Philistines. Uh, also in Judges, you have it um, with Gideon, where... It mentions in chapter 6 that uh, the Israelites were uh, under the, the, the government uh, of the enemy for seven years. And, uh, and then the Lord commanded him uh, to sacrifice two bullocks of seven years old. So there you got a triple seven. And then Gideon had 300 men to defeat the enemy. And uh, it goes throughout the Bible all the way uh, up to Revelations, where, where you know, in, um, in chapter uh, 9, uh, verse 2 to 6, it mentions, you know, the, the seven trumpets uh, three times, and, and chapter 9, verse 5, 
It says, you know, it mentions the five months, and it's mentioned twice. Five months is 150 days, it mentioned twice, it's 300 days. So you have that um, marker, you know, a triple seven uh, followed by 300 days. Now, the first one that I ever saw was when Trump uh, was inaugurated in, in January 20, uh, 2017. Uh, he was 70 years old, seven months, seven days. But then we counted 300 days and it expired. After that, it was uh, March 28th, the beginning of the religious year, 5,777, the Hebrew year. But it already expired this January. But I found one that is simply unbelievable. Uh, that it was the, the real 777 on July 7, 2017. 7-7-2017, uh, Donald Trump had a meeting with uh, Putin, the Russian president. And what I found there was amazing. Um, Putin's um, um, age on that day, on the 777, on July 7, 2017, was 777 months old to the day. Not a day more, not a day less. He was 777 months to the day. And Donald Trump was 7'11". How was that? Well, Donald Trump was 71 years old and he was leaving his first month of the 72nd uh, year of his life. So 71 plus uh, one month, 7'11". And uh, Putin was 777 months to the day on the 777. I mean, on a triple seven days, July 7, 2017, 7-7, 2017, Putin was 777 months old to the day, and Donald Trump was 7-Eleven. From there, you count 300 days exact, and they fall on May 2, 2018. And May 2, 2018, guess what it is? It is the 17th of the second month, the day of the Ark. So if you want to be looking at a very possible day in the, in the spring that it points by all means with a um, evidence that, that from that 777, uh, it, that there is no coincidence on that 777 that definitely the 300 days could be counted from there, they fall on a biblical date that match the ark and the Lord says that we should be looking, uh, it will be like in the days of Noah. So uh, I knew nothing was going to happen with this blood moon. And uh, if you notice that uh, the North Korean president uh, did arrangements and negotiated that his people could go um, to the uh, Winter Olympics, meaning nothing is going to happen because that man is a fanatic uh, of sports. So... He doesn't want anything to happen uh, while these uh, games are going on. They end on February the 25th. But um, then, you know, that's almost the end of February. Then the month of March. Then April, March 20th is the end of the winter. Uh, meaning from that March 20th, the spring, uh, the spring starts. And um, you have the completion of the 300 days in May 2nd, which is... Again, ER 17, uh, the day of the Ark. Uh, that is simply mind blowing to me. It's a it's a detail that is just uh, incredible. It's simply incredible. One more thing: from the day that uh, Donald Trump um, uh, made the mistake of, of 7/11 by 9/11, two seven seven seventeen. There is 444 days, 444. And in that triple seventh, remember, the two greatest powers of the world, Donald Trump and Putin, met. And Putin was confirming the triple seven by having 777 months old uh, to the day. Uh, that, that is a simply uh, an incredible... Uh, incredible, incredible sign. And remember, this sign is through all the Bible. I just mentioned a few. It's also in the book of Esther. 
you know, in, in chapter 1, verse 5, verse 10, verse 14, you got the triple seventh. And then all the way in chapter 9, you get the 300, where 300, dead, 300 men they killed. And, and, um, and that sign, right after that, it's the great salvation and the great destruction for the enemies. We know that the rapture is going to be, bring uh, great salvation for the church, and it's going to bring great destruction for the world. And, and that is exactly what is going to happen. This is the triple seven. Um, if you want to look at a, a very possible day, uh, for the rapture, it will be Ejar 17th, uh, you know, 2018, May 2nd. Uh, if, it, if it takes a few more days after that, it's possible. We don't know. Seven days after that, we don't know. Uh, but um, it's definitely 300 days from the triple seven confirmed. Not a simple triple seven, a, a triple seven confirmed uh, where, where this guy is triple seven months of his life, and then the other one is 7-11th, on a triple seven date. And um, it's, it's something that, um, it's biblical. It is not imagination. It is not, um, you know, a speculation. It is a biblical sign throughout the Bible. The Lord gave it to me in early 2017. And, um, I mean, we need to um, pay attention Closely, uh, because it's 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 just pointing um, to the exact timing. I knew uh, that nothing was going to happen. Uh, don't be watching uh, for this winter. It's not going to happen in winter. Uh, that was only um, an illusion. We all wanted it to be in winter, but it's not going to happen in winter. The Bible says clearly, pray ye that your flight is not in winter, uh, nor in the Sabbath day. And, and he points clearly to the spring uh, in the book of songs of Solomon and, and it's telling us it always been even the Lord himself said it's going to be like in the days of Noah and like in the days of Lot and they were both in the spring so with that I leave you um, uh, that, that you have uh, you know a real uh, sense of of timeline of when this can possibly happen, that you may go out there and still win some souls and, and preach it because, um, you know, and make plans and manage yourself because it's still uh, a few months ahead. Until next time, God bless you all. Shalom.